Raycliffe, professional, PG. Hey, Bradman Kane, this is Garblog. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to have to hold my mic here because I forgot to put my earbud in. Anyway, uh, Great Cliff uh, Professional, and as I can tell, that's what the blue label is. There's a red label, which is the original. I had to look this up because for some reason, it's actually not really listed on the Great Cliff website. That said, Great Cliff is actually still a hotel in Nassau, Bahamas, and that is where they make the cigars, so... Little FYI there. Uh, they are a very, very nice hotel, which means they are a very expensive hotel. Which means I'm not going to be staying there anytime in the foreseeable future. Anywho, that is not what we are here about. We are here about cigar. Now, provided I don't get wind noise. Everybody wants to focus on the cigar, not the fucking grass. Thank you. Hopefully everything will be actually nice and fine. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. <laughs> as far as what the PG means, I have no idea. <clears throat> I just know that this is supposed to be the professional series, Professionale, or however the hell you're supposed to pronounce that. It's got an E on the end. Okay, so far straight away, I want to say like a blackberry note. Weird. I'm getting like a toasted marshmallow. A little earthy. Touch of spice, nothing too major. I want to say there's almost like a blackberry note in the background of it. Very, very subtle, though. It's a very subtle fruitiness. All right, so, good start. We're going to get this down the first inch. Hopefully the wind is not going to play hell with my mic, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, so, coming up about a uh, <coughs> good solid inch in. Burn is a little off-kilter. I'm going to chuck that up to poor light, because, well, that's just kind of how I do these. <laughs> Sorry. Flavor-wise, so far, I want to say there's a subtle sweet. There's also a definite peppery note. The pepper kind of hits you in the back of the throat, though. Retro Hale has kind of a warm, earthy note. Clean tobacco. Overall, a lot of flavors going on in here. So for this is chugging up to one of those things that uh, everyone's going to have a little bit different experience depending on how your taste buds are keyed. Which is a good thing. Kind of encourages you to check them out. But, uh, <laughs> so far, <clears throat> funky light aside, the main flavor I'm getting off of this is, uh, earthy, floral, and occasionally slightly fruity. I want to say floral more than anything. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out where the halfway point is, get down to there, and see if there's another update. Well, obviously there's going to be another update, but see if anything changes then. Okay, so, see you at the halfway. Well, I'd say I've hit a pretty good halfway point. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just hoping the mic uh, is not picking up the wind. So far, I noticed after the first inch, the flavor went from floral to very kind of coffee cocoa. Still a little bit of pepperiness. Yep, still kind of hits you in the back of the throat. Retro Hill is kind of more of the same. Very coffee, very cocoa. A little spice. Overall, not bad. Fairly nuanced. Like I said, this is one of those deals that uh, everybody's going to pick something a little different out of it, which is a good thing. With that said, hopefully after this halfway point, uh, things will end up getting a little transition. If not, uh, well, not a bad thing. Just uh, it is what it is. 
It's like a single action versus a double action, you know? You're never going to be able to get a double action out of a single action trigger, right? Well, anyway, I'm just kind of rambling right now because I'm kind of trying to ignore all the freaking birds and the wind. Anyway, I'm going to get this down in the web, see if anything wakes up, changes, does anything different. See if anything stands out. So far, though, definitely a good coffee cigar. So, drink pairing right there. Coffee, whiskey, good standard cigar pairings. Anyway, I'll get back to you in the nub. Okay, it looks like a pretty good nub to me. <coughs> Excuse me, good lord. Okay, so, flavors so far have been pretty consistent after that first inch. Pretty much coffee, cocoa, a touch of spice. Pretty much the same thing in the retro hill. Overall, not a bad, not a bad little cigar. Can definitely recommend uh, coffee, good whiskey, your typical drink pairings with a cigar. And of course, we got walking the dog. Well, anyway, let's wait for this uh, person to walk away here. Okay. I think I would be okay. Anyway, <clears throat> not much else to say about this, really. So, like I said, the Great Cliff Hotel is actually in Nassau, Bahamas, and it is a very high-end hotel. Case in point, they have their own cigar brand. <laughs> but if you ever find yourself in the Bahamas, definitely check them out if you can afford the price. They are a little posh, shall we say. But if you wonder where the cigars come from, that's where. So far, though, uh, as far as the cigar goes, like I said, right now, it's just, you know, getting to be filler. It's like there's not a whole lot else to say. Good flavors. Present flavors. Uh, everybody's gonna, probably going to get a little bit something different out of it. Depends on how your tongue's keyed. Beyond that, not much else to say. Good cigar. You can afford it, which these should be okay. Get a five-pack, get in the sampler. If you can afford it, get a box, whatever. Definitely worth checking out. <clears throat> That's it, though. Yeah, that's pretty much all she wrote. So, if you like this review, or any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Uh, quick heads up, uh, Cigar Supply is doing only got like one more review left. Uh, there is, uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be like one more review, and then uh, you know, you're probably gonna see a lot more videos of uh, all video game shit. I'm running out of stuff. Also, doesn't help that uh, I order off of the Cigars International catalog, and I'm running out of stuff to review. <laughs> So just a quick, quick little warning about that, but like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Check out my Twitch stream, Sunday Friday night, 10 to 2 a.m. Or of course my computer doesn't crap out. If you can't make it live, the videos will eventually end up on YouTube somewhere. Eventually I will put a link to that, maybe, if I remember. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.